What's up guys, welcome back to a brand new episode on the channel. Welcome to all the new subscribers. This is going to be episode 16 of the Survival Let's Play. In case you missed it, last episode I built up this amazing, cozy looking wool factory. This factory produces 10 different colored wool. It was a lot of fun to make, I'm not completely done detailing this front part. However, as you can see, it's completely decorated and finished on the inside here. Fit with room enough, walk around sit down and read if you want enjoy a snack and then there's a management office back here and then upstairs living quarters off limits so yeah this thing's looking pretty sweet and it's working flawlessly anytime i need wool i'm just going to come down here to get the color that i need for now we're going to leave this working if you watched the last episode you remember that i wanted to build some kind of town alongside this hill that way it gave it a much better look and feel it would add so much life and atmosphere to this area and it would be right next to the fort so i got a few things planned for this episode but that is the main one i want to finish this thing i want to really get a good start on this town in between episodes by the way i i came over here and added this cobblestone just to give us a working area and i like the height that it's at and so what i'm thinking is that there's going to be people living here who work inside this hillside and collect coal so i bet i can carve out some rooms where these individuals are collecting raw iron and coal but mainly coal so comment down below what you think of this idea grab some popcorn and your beverages strap in and let's get started okay so i did some work in between episodes on the bunker underneath fort dimer and i'm just dying to show you guys so get ready because you've already seen the botanical nature theme that I was going for. So you know what to expect, but tell me what you think down below. So here we go. I'm gonna go ahead and turn off the HUD as we explore this real quick. To go down the tunnel as usual, but bam, can you believe how good this looks? I love it. Don't mind the string there. It's keeping the glow berries from growing too much. But doesn't this look incredible? Oh, this area over here is under construction. Let me know if you can guess what this is going to be. If not, just drop a suggestion on what it could be or what you would do. But yeah, guys, look at this tree. I ended up making this swing out of the bamboo wood, which is the perfect aesthetic for right here. I went ahead and over here where this darkness is, planted some mushrooms. There's even some mushrooms over here in the corner, as well as over there, because this is a dark area underground, I mean. So there would be lots of mushrooms. So yeah, right here towards the end is where we're going to extend our bunker. But what do you think? Do you like this center area of the bunker? I think I'm going to take this sign and officially name this room. So it's a bit easier to start referencing what I'm talking about. I never had this problem before where I've got so many builds. It would be easier just to name them so that way we can reference them. But I'm thinking right here in the front, we go ahead and name this place. How about Dimer's Nature Retreat? Yeah, I think that works if you got a different name suggestion go ahead and let me know down in the comments but now when i reference this room it's going to be nature's retreat my favorite part of nature's retreat is this reading area it's also got the perfect viewing spot of the tree of the, the entire area all the flowers you can just sit relax and find the book you want so yeah there you have it there is the tour of all the work that i did in between episodes now i've got the elytra and i've got fireworks and I've built quite a bit in this world throughout both of these seasons. So I thought it would be a really cool idea to go visit all these old builds. And when I say all, I'm completely exaggerating. It's not going to be all. It's just a few. I just feel like exploring. I just think we should spend some time remembering some of these old builds before we move on to something brand new. Oh, but before we do that, I got a couple of questions for you guys. So one's a fun one and then one is a survival question. Question number one. This is just a fun one. I just want to know, would you rather, would you rather fight 100 baby zombies with crossbows riding on top of pigs? Okay, that's the first choice. And the second choice is that you have to be followed around by the Endermen for 102 days without sleeping. Everything you do, everywhere you go, the Endermen is right there with you. Let me know your choice down below. Okay, and the second question, and this one's a survival one. What is the best food source in Minecraft? I look forward to seeing what you guys come up with. Now, on to the next part of the video. Okay, I'm over at the old base. I really miss this area. Things were really starting to look good. And the first build I wanted to revisit is the garden out here. I remember when I planted the carrots and the potatoes, and I made this strip of flowers right in between them. 
over here we got a raised garden for some beetroots and then some flowers over there on another raised bed so yeah this was the garden i really loved this build and how it turned out but the next one i wanted to show you was over here this was the nether portal from space and i do apologize if you're noticing a bit of stuttering in the video it seems i've built so much that things are starting to lag just a little bit nevertheless here is the portal from space anyways i wanted this area to look like a giant crater almost like the nether portal landed from space and caused this big ripple effect really 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 love this build let me know what you think down below whoa you got a random chicken out here what's up dude or maybe i'm the random one but okay that is the nether portal i wanted to take a look at one more blast from the past there's the chicken coop over here is my meditation tree. I can come over here to this tree and sit at one of these benches and just meditate. Oh, and look at this natural waterfall next to like a dam, if you will, like a natural dam. Yeah. Anyways, I thought that was pretty cool. But the thing I wanted to show you guys. Wait, what's down here? I forgot about this. Oh, this is the axolotl pond. Wow. She's still here. I don't think we've ever named her. Wow. Well, this was a really cool build. I'm glad I came through to see this. But for real, I'll go show you what I was wanting to show you in the first place. And that is this pathway through the woods that goes underneath some trees and up to this tranquil pond. This thing was a beautiful project. I love how it turned out. I think it's amazing. And if you like the tranquil pond, don't forget to leave a like on the video down below. Oh, and up here was my enchantment cave. Man, I'm so glad I came to revisit this area. Okay, I'm back over here at the new area. There's the factory right over there. My fort is up in this direction. And over here is actually where I want to start working on carving out some rooms. Maybe building some bases of some houses. The people who inhabited the little village have disappeared. I don't really know what happened to them. No one really does. But if you spend enough time in the caverns and in the mines, you will hear some knocking. Where this knocking comes from and what it means, no one really knows. I sure as heck don't. Some have said that it's the knocking and clanging of old mining tools of miners who've lost their lives in the mines. So yeah, that is the lore behind this project. But yeah, I'm gonna have to brainstorm guys. I'm gonna have to freestyle for a little bit, see what I can come up with. And whenever there's a moment of clarity, I'm gonna bring you guys back. Okay guys, I don't have long, the sun is going down. I have to sleep the night away, but look at this progress that I've made. Let me know down below what you think. Starting things off to the right, we have an opening with a door that's gonna go inside the mountain. And I'm thinking that's gonna be like the entry area to the uh, the initial town, but there's gonna be balconies and windows like this one and this one, and probably even further up, I'll make like railings and stuff for people to, you know, relax and look out at the nature. But I love the chimney in there. It looks like there's stuff going on. There's windows, there's a tower here, and this is just the beginning. But yeah, I just wanted to bring you guys back and show you the, uh, the work that I've done. I'm gonna go sleep the night away. I still don't even have my tools out, but that's okay. I'm not gonna finish this project today. And that's because I want to see and hear your feedback. I wonder if you can help me with the lore of this little area and this town site and give me ideas for details and things that you wanna see maybe on the inside of this. Okay, I'm gonna leave this stuff over here for now. Project is still underway, but it is coming together and I hope you guys like it. Leave a like down below if you do and let me know what you think. But to end the video, I want to move on to a new project. I wanted to come over here to this pond where I saw this school of ducks. And I'm going to bring one home. And then I'm going to come back for some more. Or at least one other. Uh oh, a snake. It's kind of a long trip home. There's the factory. I'll meet you guys when I'm over there. Okay, and for the last part of the video, I want to get the duckies in this pond right here. As you can see, there's no water in it currently. So I'm going to need to make an infinite water source and grab a couple of buckets. Look at the details over here. I love the way this thing turned out. I'm gonna grab some water now. And now I can come over here and fill up this entire pond. I kind of like it one layer lower 
I think that looks really good. So what I'm going to do now is throw in some last minute details around this pond, make it look a little bit prettier, and then add the ducks. And that's going to be the end of the video. Okay, the pond is looking really good. I love how natural it looks. I think it's ready for the ducks. Now I only have two of them for now. Oh, looks like they had a baby. So I have three. I'll pick up one at a time. I have them in the maintenance closet here in the factory just for now. But I'll walk them over here and then just drop them. Now they won't just stay in this area, but you know, if they're gone, they're gone. And if they come back, they come back. But the pond, it'll stay. And I love how that thing turned out. There you go. I'll go get your baby. Let's go, little guy. There you go. Looks like one of the ducks already got out, but that's okay. I just like that they're in the area. I'm so glad I made this thing. Comment down below your favorite part of the video. Don't forget that I have memberships live on the channel. Check them out for multiple different benefits and tiers. Your support means the world and the first five members are actually going to get a shout out in the next video. But that's going to do it for me in this one. My name is Diamond Dimer and until next time, I am signing off.